Hey everyone, Squee here, and I've got a major, major announcement that can, uh, well, will have a huge impact on the future of the channel. It could be good, it could be bad, it's hard to tell right now, and actually a large part of it is in your hands. Um, so let me just jump right into it. As many of you know, and as some of you may not know, for the past two years I have been employed by TGN, and that's how I've made my living. Um, not only have I made YouTube content, but um, I've also done live streams for them, you know, about five days a week. And I did a lot of behind the scenes work for their YouTube channels, uh, keeping it up and running. Well, um, for those of you who've been following my live streams on TGN, you may have noticed a severe lack of any of that. And that is because TGN has decided to go in another direction and the position I fill just no longer exists. Now, before anyone gets upset, there's, this is nothing like TGN's being mean about it. I love TGN. I love the people in TGN and they've been incredibly supportive during this transition. It's just the way business goes. Uh, the spot I filled just doesn't exist anymore. Therefore, I have no more source of income and I'm going to have to find another one. Now this typically would mean I go out and I find another job and that's great and if that's the case I will do it but keep in mind that that will negatively impact, impact this channel because I had an enormous amount of time to create content for this YouTube channel with that job I had with TGN. Any other job I get that time is going to be incredibly reduced and I'm not going to be able to produce anywhere near as much content as I can now. Um, you know, for example, Dragon Ball Z League, we're going to have to postpone season seven until I know that I have the free time to do it. Uh, the Witcher Let's Play that I was really excited to start and I know you guys voted on it. I'm going to do it, but I'm going to have to wait until I see where everything falls before I start another Let's Play because I don't want to start a bunch of Let's Plays and then not have time to do it. Um, however, there is another option here, and that is the main point of this video. I am going to start a Patreon campaign. And Patreon basically is a way for you, the viewers, to support me to create content for you. I've never really considered this before because I've never needed to. However, I think that this is an opportunity to try. Basically... Over the past five years, and yeah, guys, it's almost been five years now, we've built a community here. See, there's two theories. There's the theory that, that big companies like TGN have that, that is you want to get as many viewers and subscribers as possible. So you play all the newest games and you, you go to all the forums and tell them about yourselves and you get lots of views that way. And there is truth to that. There, there, it works and it's true. I am horrible at that kind of thing. I personally think there's another way, which is to slowly build a strong community like we've done here. People that really enjoy my content and like each other and get to know each other and become friends and become, as far as I'm concerned, like a second family, which is what you guys are to me. You're not just some viewers I picked up on a page somewhere. Um, and I think that you guys tend to feel the same way about the community. Now, there is, like I said, an opportunity here for me to devote myself to you, the community, full time. In other words, no commitments um, to other people, no full time job to worry about. My, I wake up, I produce content and entertain you guys. I stream, I make let's plays, I make sure that the channel is running smoothly, um, and I devote myself full time to keeping you guys entertained. In order to do that, I will need your help, thus the Patreon campaign. Basically, you go there, the link is in the description below, and if you are interested, if you like my content and you want to help ensure it keeps coming at a steady pace, please consider pledging a certain amount. There are rewards for pledging, however they were difficult to come up with because I didn't want to penalize people who couldn't or wouldn't support. So for example, I'm not locking anything behind a paywall. I'm not saying that you know if you, if you donate you get to see these cool videos that no one else gets to because I don't want to hold my content ransom. I want your support but I don't want to ransom it to you. Um, so the rewards I've come up with are, are, are rather different. I promise you whether you support or not you will see all of my content, none of it will be locked away from you. Uh, the difference here is, and I do want to make this very, very clear. This isn't like a uh, 
if you don't support me, I'll be thrown out on the streets or anything like that. That's not the case here. I can go out and get a job like everyone else. I will never complain about it. The, the thing, that, the opportunity that you have to decide here is, do you like my stuff enough to support me to do it full time? It's not the difference between, uh, I mean, me not let's playing or, or let's playing, because I will always, always let's play. It's the difference between one or two let's plays videos a week or two or three let's play videos every day. It's the difference between me being able to actually write Arena and produce a chapter every month or just not be able to write Arena. It's the difference between doing Dragon Ball Z League or having to pass it off to someone else who has more time. That's the differences here. And that's what I'm hoping to get your support in because I know enough, I've done this long enough to know that this is my passion. This is, I would, I would do this until the day I die and I would love every second of it. And if I can do this full time, I can do so many fantastic things that I think you guys will love, but I need your help to do so. So if you really enjoy my content, if you have enjoyed my content, if you love my Fallout roleplay and my, you know, um, and uh, Ardenfell and Rifts and, and you like Arena, please consider supporting to my Patreon. If I can get enough to do this full time, I promise each and every one of you, you will be the ones that benefit from it. Well, that's not true. I will benefit from it too, but we as a community will reap the rewards and i promise you there will be great things to come so there's that i don't really know where to go from here i don't know how successful this will or won't be um but keep in mind no matter what happens i'm not going anywhere my channel's not going anywhere i will always be here with you guys and i will always create as much content as i can just keep in mind that uh, depending on how this patreon goes the amount of content I produce for you guys might be a lot less in the future, and I hope not, but such is the way is life, and that might be the way it goes, and we'll just have to see. But I really feel that we have a chance here to, to do something great, which is me spending every single day devoted to making content you enjoy, not just the next latest game that some company wants me to do, content that you care about. Okay, so that's that. If you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'm sure there will be a lot. And um, oh, oh, also, <laughs> I almost completely forgot. So because my uh, position with TGN isn't really a thing anymore, and the same is true for Kriana and Piff and, and, and 1UP and, and a lot of others, there is no reason for Dragon Ball Z League to be on their forums anymore. So everyone who is a part of Dragon Ball Z League, we are moving back to the old please select your Let's Play forms, which everyone was fond of better, or liked more anyway. Um, so please start moving back there and start, you know, and same goes for XCOM, the XCOM roleplay, pretty much everything. We're moving back to the Let's Play forms. Uh, I will put the link in the description below, of course. And um, yeah, we'll just see how things go. So everyone stay tuned and as soon as I get more information, I will let you know. But in the meantime, Fallout will still continue. I still got uh, several episodes of that ready to go. Uh, of course, XCOM, Rifts, and hopefully Ardenfell. All of that will keep going. All right. So see you guys around.